Hey guys, new video here. I uh, want to talk about leveling gloves. Now, crafting leveling gloves, you know, information's been out there for a while, using fossils to get a low-level gloves that is very good for twink leveling. Twink leveling just means, um, you know, it's not your first character of the league. You have a character already, and you want to uh, have it with some powerful, unique items. You want it to have some, some nice, uh, already, like, quality gems, you know, and to make leveling very smooth, very easy, just won't going around, one-shotting everything, moving as fast uh, as humanly possible. And so, um, you know, I, I was using things like, you know, the shadows and dust at level 30-something. I was using uh, Loctanials at level 1. That's like the basic stuff, right? You use some, like, Ondars. You can use, um, you know, whatever you want for leveling, like, like very cheap uniques. But... I believe that Reign of Arrows is like the most exciting leveling uh, build because all the synergies kind of come together in a Reign of Arrows build. It's smooth, it's fast, it's easy. Uh, it can be very cheap. You can invest a lot in it to make your leveling experience actually like super fun. Like nowadays, I, I find leveling to be very fun. And um, last night on stream, I was like, you know what? The elemental damage gloves, you know, for like the bow builds, the attack builds, it's cool, but can we add a hollow fossil to it, right? And uh, that, that's pretty cool too, because uh, we didn't know like if there was like some hidden like eye level behind it, like uh, with the uh, abyssal socket, right? Because it is like an affix on the gloves and we tried it and we were able to make uh, these gloves in two attempts and it's pretty easy to do. So when you use fossils, you're gonna use um, frigid and metallic for sure. Now, if you use these two, um, you will end up with a pair of gloves uh, that will most likely have, uh, I'd say like like maybe four out of five times, maybe, maybe even like nine out of ten times, it will have the tier one lightning damage um, and the tier one cold damage, right? You can also use like the scorched if you want, but you can't use scorched and frigid because like they cancel. Uh, but you will always get the subterranean rolls, at least one of them, and once again, like 90% of the time, you'll get the other tier one as well. So two subterranean rolls of the elements of your choice, right? The lightning is one to 60, and that's really good because it synergizes well with the storm cloud um, and things like that, right? And the, of course, the, the tempest, uh, and of course, you know, lightning bows. Lightning, like bow builds, is, is kind of um, like a tried and true leveling strat, right? The cold damage is good for shatter, right? It's a good, good base damage there. You can get another <laughs> prefix of a smaller roll. Now this one is uh, one to five lightning damage to attacks right there. Um, not bad, but you know, obviously the subterranean rolls are the big ones, and these do not add any um, like real, real like uh, big level boost to the gloves, right? And uh, it's very strong at level one. You're gonna be destroying everything. They are way better than Lactanials or anything else that you can get. And uh, so, how do we get the attack speed? It's ten percent. It's also uh, of the underground roll. 10% attack and cast speed if you've hit an enemy recently, right? And the way you get that is you put a shuddering fossil along with this. So it's totally fine to use a frigid and a metallic, but once you use a shuddering, uh, I, I feel like most of the time it guarantees the uh, uh, attack and cast speed if you hit recently, okay? And so after these three, they're very cheap, especially if you just do these two, right? They're gonna be super cheap and you can still get like an attack speed roll as a suffix. You're going to use a hollow fossil. Now, hollow fossil is 1.3 exalts right now, but um, adding a hollow fossil, what you are able to do is uh, let me go to my twink leveling tab. So, you see these jewels right here? Um, these right here have no level requirement, right? Like, these are like kind of garbage ones, but like, look at these, right? Like, crit multi, life, fizz damage, move speed. This one is fizz damage, cold damage, multi, damage if you killed recently. These have no level requirement. So you can put another one of these um, into the hollow fossil and you don't really need jewels, uh, ju like the gem sockets, right? It doesn't matter if it takes up a gem socket. You're not really filling these all up when you uh, level anyway. So it it's just a crazy gloves, okay? So once again, very easy to craft. Obviously, the hollow fossil, if you want to go full potato mode, um, this is for people that want to make multiple characters and use the same gear over and over and over. Like this twink leveling tab is what I use for um, every single character. I, I level this range of arrows, so it's smooth. I de-level the gems. So I'll make another, you know, I don't want to talk about too much. I'll make another video about the new range of arrows uh, technology that's out, I guess, for like really smooth leveling. It's amazing. Feels good. Highly recommend. Um, but today's just about the gloves, right? And another reason I recommend these is uh, if you roll something like this and you have, let's say you um, you have an open suffix, right? And you use these at level two. That's the crazy part. They're equipable right as you get into town um, and they'll just make you one-shot everything. Now, 
if you have a crafting bench, all right, you go to your crafting bench, and at level 24, you can craft on attack speed. See? Craft on attack speed, it now requires level 24. But you now have another 12% attack speed, right? My um, item hockey show is, is F. That's why you see the F at the top. So, um, yeah, you just have the extra attack speed on there. Okay? It's crazy. It's actually insane how good these gloves are. Offering mirror service, by the way, for my amazing gloves. Just kidding. Um, and then uh, another thing that you, if you even want to go more full potato, like I was trying to get perfect rolls on that. So I locked the prefixes and I was dividing to try to get higher rolls. And then I, I um, <laughs> to, uh, to try to divide the 10% uh, uh, attack speed, right? So it was like, well, it was like divine to try to get the prefixes first and then lock prefixes, divine to get the... Uh, 10% attack and Caspi without changing the prefixes. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with these. I know, I know it's kind of weird to like spend a lot on uh, leveling gloves, but they're really good. Okay, another thing to keep in mind, if the crafting base that you want to do, make sure you're buying it with like a level two character in town, okay? Because otherwise, if you buy it with like a level eight character, level 10 character, um, the eye level of the vendor is higher, so it can, it can shoot the, um, the eye level up a little bit uh, so make sure you do it on level two character, or I mean, for whatever reason, if you de-level your character level one or something like that, um, you can you can get the level one gloves from the vendor. It doesn't matter which one, right? It actually doesn't matter which one: evasion, es, armor. Um, the values are so low that it doesn't matter even if you get like thirty percent quality or or whatever you can find. Okay, so do that. Once again, prime uh, resonder of any type, right? Uh, obviously, given the color of the gloves. And then uh, these three, Frigid, Metallic, and Shuddering is what I recommend. And then if you want to splurge a little bit more, a Hollow Fossil. Th these took um, only two attempts, and so pretty pretty darn good. Very exciting. Um, okay, that's the video. And, uh, and, and, uh, and, and if you want to watch me on Twitch, I'm live every day at 8.30 Chicago time. You can watch me there. Okay, and, and this hideout is pretty is pretty cool. Look at my new hideout. It's very nice. Okay, bye everyone. Thank you everyone. Bye, bye.